the NFL. Right now, Colin Kaepernick is still without a spot on a roster. Uh, he took a knee and is well documented, and uh, he's looking for work and he's looking for uh, human rights in terms of uh, police brutality and the lack thereof. Talk about Colin Kaepernick. You did a piece on him, and when you think about Colin Kaepernick, uh, what goes through your mind? Well, number one, it's a shame that Colin Kaepernick has been out of the NFL since 2017. Obviously, he paid a tremendous price and showed great courage for taking the stand on a knee that he did in 2016. But it's a shame that no team in the NFL has seen fit to bring him in, to give him an opportunity. And, you know, in recent weeks, obviously, um, this has become more and more of a topic as the things that Colin Kaepernick protested about have manifested itself again over and over in the worst ways. And so there's, there's kind of been a bit of um, a sentiment you know, I, I think, James, I think people who wanted Kaepernick in the league always wanted him in the league. But in light of these current events, you're hearing uh, players speak out. Richard Sherman this week, Carlos Hyde, one of Kaepernick's former teammates. Malcolm Jenkins came out with a strong statement saying, hey, the NFL just isn't right without Colin Kaepernick. And Al Sharpton said it so eloquently and so powerfully at the uh, funeral for George Floyd when he was giving the, the eulogy. And he says, hey, we don't want an apology from Roger Goodell. Give this man a job. 